you do realize that there you have a knack or the the television and sports gods seem to have bestowed upon you the craziest endings and the tightest games that if you ever are calling a game and somebody's up by 21 you would bet you, you <laughs> yeah. i heard that during the ncaa tournament years ago there was a thing because i don't know anything about betting but yeah. i heard that people were betting mm -hmm. on my games <laughs> i heard this is true i was like wow they would bet the underdog yeah yeah because no matter what whoever was up would blow it or whoever was down would come back if Gus Johnson was on the Yo, call. Yo, Rich, man, I had a run for football and for basketball right. when I was at CBS mm -hmm. for the NCAA tournament and for the NFL. I had a run that I would just pinch myself when it was over, when the games were over. I mean, game after game after remember, game. Do you remember which ones off the top of your head? Football, NFL, uh, Chris Jackson, Chris Johnson yeah. versus Maurice Jones-Drew. Uh, Jacksonville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, we had we had mm -hmm. uh, uh, Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. It was I want to see that it was Jacksonville and the Texans. Mm -hmm. Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. David Garrard threw a Hail Mary. <laughs> yeah, I uh, we had oh my gosh, uh, Brandon, the greatest Brandon game, Stokely. one of the greatest games. The Immaculate Deflection, yeah. Denver and Cincinnati. Is that Brandon Stokely? Brandon Stokely. Brandon, that was Brandon week, Stokely. Wasn't that we week one? Screamed. That was week one, right? Was that, I don't remember. I think it was the beginning of the year. Right. Incredible. Incredible. And then you had, well, the, one of the best ones, Isaiah Thomas for Washington oh in the Pac-12 final. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. One of the best ever. <laughs> just cold-blooded. Yeah. In those kind of moments, that's all. You just resort back to the hood. Man, that was cold-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> So just so many. I mean, Xavier, Ohio State in Lexington to go to the Final Four. I had Matt Sylvester for Ohio State hitting the wing jump shot to beat Illinois. Illinois, I think, was 22-0 and that year with mm -hmm. um, James Augustine and D. Brown. Uh, Darren, uh, that played for Utah, Darren. Darren uh, Williams. Williams. Yeah, Darren, exactly. Yeah. He's now the fighter, right? The boxer. Hey, is Williams. he boxing now? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. He, he would, was he the one who, who uh, went against Frank Gore, right? Did yeah. the two of them fight? Yeah, he knocked out Frank Gore. He knocked, he knocked Frank Gore out? Yes. Gus, didn't you do Gordon. the UCLA-Adam Morrison game? UCLA-Adam Morrison? Yep. Oh, the NCAA tournament. Forget about it. UCLA-Adam Morrison. We had uh, Gonzaga when they beat Florida. The slipper still fits. We had... Uh, <laughs> We, who am I talking about? I, the greatest. Uh, no, you, uh, it's uh, it's all of us, really. It's, it's all of yeah, us. It's all we, we, we were all, because yeah, again, all just hearing you make these calls, honestly, we all feel like we were sitting there next to you. Yeah. You know, it's That's very interesting. Fact, That's very interesting that you say that to me because I can't, you know, they say, mm. which is true, you never see yourself, you only see a reflection. You've never seen your face. You've only seen a reflection of your face as a human being. Mm -hmm. You've never seen this part of your back. Right. So I can't see myself. I would love to see myself during those moments because I sometimes don't really understand the reaction. To me, it's just, you know, I'm just watching the game. I'm a fan. I'm a journalist, and I take that seriously. Sure. But more than anything, I'm just a fan of sports. Thank God for sports. I want to write a, a play. There was this play that I read years ago um, by Douglas Turner Ward, and it was a satire um, about what would happen. This is in the 50s. What would happen back then in the 50s? Now take that in consideration. What would happen if all the black people disappeared back then? Meaning, you know, you didn't have anybody to cut your lawn. You didn't, white people didn't have anybody to do their, you know, housework and all that stuff. What would happen if one day sports disappeared? Oof. It almost felt like that during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah. There's no question, the Gus. time we had. Yeah. Uh, you yes. get a little, you know, just think about that. Yeah. And cry, and then and then sports came that play, back. By the way, is called the Day of Absence. You should read it. It's hilarious. Okay, catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.